Brown here, how are you all doing today? Right, today's little lesson is an old Tommy Tucker one. This is called High Hill Sneakers. Great little song, great little song. Um, what I'll do is I'll run through it, a verse, uh, and you can see how it goes and then we'll break it down. Don't forget you need you, um, your guitar tuned to open G, which is top string G, middle string D, bottom string G. Um, for those that you haven't got the chord sheets, if you can see them, um, I will go to the link below or email me and I will send you the chord sheets. Not a problem. <coughs> right, it's in uh, G. It's a three chorder. It's a nice little one. It's got a nice little riff to it. Um, so it's G, C and D. So quite a simple one. Um, you could play it just one finger without the riff if you wanted to. Um, but it sounds nice with the riff. So I'll go through it once. <laughs> And that's how it goes. Simple, simple, simple. It's that it repeats that all the way through. And I've got a funny feeling there's only about three verses to it. So um, it's just a cracker. It's just a cracker. Tommy Tucker. Tommy Tucker. High heel sneakers. Um, right, so I'll break it down for you. It's these little riffs. So you're on the G position and your middle string basically is what's doing all the work. It's the middle string at second and third fret. So you're going on... <laughs> So it's that, but what you do is you strum, so it's a uh, strummer. So it's all it's all about the strumming. And the the so yeah, you strum all the strings. And mute. Definitely the muting on this hand here. So so this all I'm doing is that muting. So it's so it's sort of down up down up strokes up up and then when you come down to your C position which is the fifth fret you're doing exactly the same riff but you're doing it on the seventh and eighth um, of the middle string. Now you can either do it, I have to do it with pink, I've got small hands, but you can do it with whichever finger you want. And then back to the G, and then when you come to the D, which is the 7th fret, then you're doing it on the 9th and the 10th. So it's sort of quite a nice easy one really. It's just getting used to that riff and make sure you're using this hand with the muting to keep that muted. And then. So that's sort of the way to do it. Um, I'll come to a close up so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So here we are at a close up. Um, so as I say, it's all done on the second fret, and it's this, it's the second and third on the second fret. But you're strumming the strings. And then it's. But I sort of mute it as well. And 
then when you come down to the C position on the fifth fret, so if I can see that we can see that a bit better. And then on the down to the seventh fret, fifth fret, and then back to the G. And then it, you end on the on the D, which is to bring you back into it. So yeah, I don't even see what I'm doing with this hand, it's sort of up and down strokes. So it's down, down, up, down. And then when I sort of do the, the this, sort of doing a double up stroke. So it's, 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 it's practice. I mean, it's lots and lots of practice. As you know, when you're trying to learn to play a guitar, um, it's a lots and lots of practice. So it's just getting used to doing this riff here. Um, okay, I'll sit back down again. It's, it's lots of practice. I mean, it's just getting this riff. Once you get this riff... So once you get these riffs, these little riffs like this on these fingers here, um, it sort of opens the world up for you. To, you can go to doing lots of different sort of um, bluesy stuff with this. So it's like the same as that one. See, so it's the same sort of riff, you know, so once you get used to doing the riffs with these fingers here, it opens it up a lot more and get used to this doing this muting the muting is very important you know if you can mute some of the songs I mean you can do it without muting so you can do it without muting it um, but it just sort of gives it a bit more uh, a bit more lift in the song when you're sort of giving it a bit of muting into that groove. So it makes you in more in control of the song, you know, makes it more in control of the song. So it's it's one to practice with. Um, you know, just gotta keep practicing these little riffs. Um, and once you get those sort of mastered, then you're, you're laughing. It opens the whole up for you. Um, so that's sort of like a little one for you today. That's um, Tommy Tucker, High Heel Sneakers. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, the button's here somewhere, um, and don't forget to watch a couple of these other videos that are coming up on the screen, and um, so keep sending me requests, um, this was a requested one, um, so keep sending me requests, and anything you want to know, give me a shout, email me below. Okay, bye for now, Mark the Bone.